Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, can you hear me, everyone? Yes, teacher. Excellent. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Very good. How was your day? It was a little easy. Easy? Ah, good for you. Yes. And nice. Excellent. I'm happy. Uh, let's see who else is there. Isabel, how are you? In my day, all good, teacher. Ah, nice. Very good. Let's see who else, who else? Lucy, how about you? How was your day? Hi, teacher. Was good. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Welcome, everyone. Holman, how are you? Hi, hi teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. All right. Very good. Welcome to the class. Who else is there? Let me check. Ah, I can see Erica. Hello, Erica. How are you? Hello. I'm a little bit sick, but I'm okay, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. You, you just recovered from the previous one, and now you got sick again. <laughs> uh, it's the same. It's headache. It's the same. Ah, oh my yes. gosh. Sorry to hear that. I hope you get better soon. <laughs> yes, I hope yeah. too. <laughs> you like to be sick, huh? <laughs> All right. Who else is there? Let me see. I can see Jamie. Hello, Jamie. How are you? I'm I okay, but it is not all a uh, good, but I I, I hear too. <laughs> so far, so good. Mm -hmm. All right. And I can see Mirna too. Hello, Mirna. How are you? Hello, Miss. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? How I'm you? great. Thanks for asking. How was your day? Oh, a little bit busy, busy but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can imagine. But it's yeah. Tuesday. And today we are going to continue practicing on the topic that we started yesterday, okay? How is the platform going? I could see some of you are advancing a lot. That's great. And the other ones? Uh-huh. What are you waiting? And you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> I'm not going to say names. But there are some people who haven't started. So please, everyone, remember, platform is not optional. It's an obligation. OK, so please do it. Now, we are going to start. Do you remember the topics that we practiced yesterday? Anyone, do you remember? Yes, about the absorption. Ah, very good. And there was a homework. You remember? Homework? We discussed the, <laughs> at the end what of the class. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Now, remember, the homework is that you have to present the information that you complete with your classmate. That's it. Don't worry. All right. So we are going to present We have to do the presentation, teacher. Sorry. Of course. I mean, I'm not talking about that a PowerPoint presentation. Ah, okay. Just share your answer. Relax. Ah, okay. <laughs> not because I, I, I can't hear you yesterday. No, no, no. Relax. No, that's what I told you that you should write it. I mean, on your notebooks or on your computer in order that you don't forget the information. All right. Oh. And then we are going to see the ideas that you had. All right. No worries. Relax. relax. <laughs> All right. We are going to start. Uh, let me start sharing the presentation. 
Let's see. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes? Okay. Now, we are going to start the class not with the topic that we had for today, but with an speaking practice, okay? We are going to talk about uh, different topics and the idea is that you had to talk for one minute, okay? So let's start with a speaking practice, everybody. I hope you are ready to speak. I have here different topics, okay? You can pick crime, family, food, health, music, sports, the ones that you preferred. Okay, so if you pick, for example, crime, there are subtopics here and you have to click in one, you have to decide, okay, if you want to talk about crime, but which one? And you say, okay, I'm going to pick uh, online. Okay, if you click on it, you will see a question. Okay, volunteer for reading? Volunteer for reading, please. It says, will online crimes become a bigger problem than physical ones? So that is the question, okay? So then you had to talk for 60 seconds and you will start talking. Oh, in my opinion, ta 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 ta, -ta. <laughs> okay? And you will start talking about that specific question and you can use the phrases that we have been learning during the week, okay? In the end, if you make some mistakes, I will take in notes, okay? And then we are going to discuss and I will provide the feedback, okay? Is it clear, the activity? Yes? Everyone? <laughs> All right. Yes, it's clear. My goodness. What happens, guys? I see you a little bit nervous. What happened? It's not nervous. It's the time, the, the, the timer. <laughs> but relax. It's a practice. It's not an exam. Okay, relax. I'm going to pick randomly the names. Okay. So let's see who's going to be the first one. Uh, can you see? What I'm sharing right now, yes? Yes. Okay, the first person will be... Herman, is Herman there? Hello, Herman? Herman, are you there? Okay, I'm going to pick someone else. Aha, Mr. Hernandez. Okay, are you ready? You can pick the topic that you prefer. Which one? Crime, family, food, health, music, sports. Pick a topic. Will be a sport. Sports, okay. Now, in sports, we have subtopics. Pick one, please. Soccer. Soccer, good. This is a question for you. Uh, can you read the question, please? Why is soccer not as popular in the USA as it is in the rest of the world? Very good, that's an interesting question. Okay, you ready? I think it's not popular um, because there uh, are many, what do you say, um, many sports and that that are more popular than soccer. Uh -huh. And what else? Continue, and, continue. <clears throat> for example, football americano, and basketball. And... 
tennis in between others. I think I think that uh, I think that uh, <laughs> okay time's up <laughs> all right so nice uh, you need a little bit more fluency I know that it's difficult guys to think about the answer because you are thinking about so many things right but relax just try to organize the ideas in your mind so what Isabel was saying, it is true. Imagine maybe soccer is not so popular in the United States because in the United States, they prefer American football, right? Good. Now let's see, ah, Ivan, I can see. A enviarle el link Iva, okay? <laughs> so no crea que no vi el mensaje. A enviárselo Iva, no worries. But you are here. Okay. Now let's see who's going to be the next one. Let me pick. Para los que acaban de entrar, we are just speaking for one minute, okay? The next person will be Carlos. Hello, Carlos, are you there? Hello, hello, Carlos, you there? Okay, I'm going to pick someone else. Aha, Miss Lucy Juarez. You ready? Aha, uh -huh. Lucy, are you there? Hello. Is not there? Can you hear me guys? Yes, no? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Lucy, I cannot hear you. I don't know what's going on. Okay, well, she Hello? thinks... Oh, yes, I can hear you ah, now. <laughs> thank <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, sorry, I don't know what happened. Okay, pick a topic. Crime, family, food, health, music, or sport? Mm, family. Family, okay. So, another top subtopic. Mm. Mm. Care. Care. Okay, this is the question for you. Uh, can you read it, please? What responsibility do people have to take care of their parents when they get old? Aha. Ready? Mm, yes, I think. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Mm, okay. Um, about that question, I think um, we have all, all we have a big responsibility. That is because our parents um, spend their own life and ensure uh, that we have a lot of education and we have a, a, a good uh, race and a good, like, um, 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 I think that is, is very important uh, for all of us. Um, we have we need to have a uh, care for our our parents. Um, that is because maybe can we they have um like a sickness and and time's up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, very good, really good because you didn't have pauses, so that's great. Nice. Okay, let's pick someone else. Adriana. Is Adriana there? Ah, uh, yes, I'm here. Excellent. Okay, Adriana, which topic do you want to talk about? Hi. Um, 
I don't know, maybe music. Music, okay. <laughs> yeah. So hearing music, which one do you prefer? Oh my gosh. Um, ugh, concert. <laughs> concert, okay. This is the question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, read it, please. Compared, okay. Compare listening to an album on headphones versus going to a concert. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Go. I think that going to a concert is better um, to listen an album on headphones. And even if you, in the case that you want to have a uh, live experience, then you can uh, be near people who share the same time or type of music that you like. Uh, but if you are an introverted person and maybe you don't want a lot, uh, to be in a crowd place with a lot of people near of you, maybe listen to an album and headphones is not a relaxed practice that you can do when you feel anxious or maybe for have a good time and be, maybe be more comfortable with yourself. So maybe it depends on the experience that you want to live and the kind of people that you are. Also, I think that it depends on the kind of music because sometimes classical music is very to uh, listen to. <laughs> yes. okay. Very good. I'm pretty sure that you want to continue talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice job. Okay, very good, very good. Easy, guys. Remember, I'm giving you the opportunity to pick the topic that you prefer. Okay, now let's see who's next. Holman. Hello, Holman. Hi, teacher. So, Holman, which topic do you prefer? <clears throat> I love the music. Music too? All right. Mm -hmm. Which one? Uh, uh, evolution. Evolution, okay. This is the question for you. Um, you ready? Uh, yes? Yes. Okay, go. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I think the music, uh, the, the there are a lot of uh, kind of music uh, in in this time is is very easy listen to music you can you can you can uh, uh, download an uh, application like Spotify you can view videos in um, in YouTube but uh, before uh, I I think if it was very uh, difficult um, because you have to to, to buy uh, uh, you 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 have to hold a, 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 a cassette a CD or just listen in, in in listen to in the radio. Time's up. Okay, very good. So nice information. Exactly. Imagine, guys, some years ago, we don't listen to music the way, I mean, we didn't listen to music the way that we do it now. Do you remember when you, well, I don't know if you did it, but in my case, I remember that I have a tape and when the, my favorite song sounds in, on the radio, I record the song. <laughs> did you do that? Yes, I remember. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> yes, yeah, I remember. And you yeah, know, I remember. And yeah, I, I remember. hate, <laughs> I hate when the person on the radio started to talk, and I say, "No, shut up! I'm recording it." <laughs> yeah, so, I remember. <laughs> and now imagine. Now the rest just... of the the rest of the group maybe is in uh, maybe the new generation, but I remember because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, yeah. we do are. Do you old. remember uh, when a record in cassette? Do you put uh, the paper in the cassette? 
and we put the what? Put the paper. Oh no, <laughs> you are more old than me. <laughs> a paper. Ah, Mirna, I got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I don't remember that. <laughs> the, the cassette uh, in, the, in the side, uh, no, in the in the Tina's corner, in the corner of the cafe, uh -huh. um, uh, there, there, there is a, a hole, un agujero. A hole, okay. Uh -huh, un agujero, a hole. Uh, put, it, put it out the paper in the cafe record. Mm, okay, no, I'm, I didn't do that. <laughs> Tampoco estoy tan, tan right. <laughs> but that's interesting. No sabía eso. I didn't have yes, idea. Yes, it's true. Interesting. So you see, guys, the evolution of music. This question is, is very interesting. Nice job. Okay. Let's see who's next. You see, guys, the questions are interesting. I like that. Mr. Magdaleno, is Magdaleno there? Yes? No, teacher. No? Okay. Ah, Mr. Ivan Guzman. <laughs> okay. Hello. Ivan, pick a topic. Which topic do you want to talk about? Mm, again, music. Music too. Right. Ah, I can see that you like music, guys. Okay, you cannot pick evolution and concert because your classmate already talked about it. So you can pick the other ones. Mm -hmm. Concert. No, concert is already taken. Ah, okay. Concert, no, evolution. Okay. You can pick universal, cool. health, free, or culture. Culture. Mm hmm Culture, good. Yeah. This is your question. Read it, please. Which world culture has the best music in your opinion? Which world culture? You ready? Mm. Ready. Okay, go. Okay, in my opinion, the world culture. Mm. Maybe uh, the music, the music uh, uh, country. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good song, music country in the United States. Yeah. Um, uh, mm, <laughs> continue, continue, don't stop. Don't stop, don't stop. Okay. Mm. The music country is a uh, like uh, I prefer to listen in the in the world and the other uh, type music maybe uh, the music uh, India. All right, time's up. Okay, Ivan, good ideas, but I need more fluency. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of no, pauses, no. but I will give you an extra point because country music is my favorite one, actually. I love uh, that. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I, that's my favorite one. So guys, ah, good. So guys, what do you think? Which work culture has the best music? What do you think? In my opinion, in my personal opinion, teacher, the best music uh, for me is that the uh, contemporary music mm -hmm, and okay. English. Yes, this is the best music for me. <laughs> Sounds good. How about you guys? For what me, teacher, African cu culture, All because right. a lot, a lot, uh, kind of music. Uh, Modern kind of music like like salsa, merengue, and maybe the rock have a, 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 the bass on the bass have the music, uh, uh, African music uh, for the percussion mm. uh, tambor, uh, drums. Is, drums uh huh. Use a lot of drums. Use a, a 
Madrid very, very quickly. I think for me, the best culture, because a lot of music, uh, modern music. Uh, comes uh, uh, from them. From, uh -huh, from, from Africa, I think. Oh, oh, very interesting, nice. Okay, excellent job. Now it's time to pick someone else. I think that we have time for one more person. Oscar Armando. Hello, Oscar, are you there? Yeah, teacher. Okay, Oscar, you have to pick a topic. Which one do you prefer? I, uh, family. Family, okay. Which one? Pick an option. Um, um, I think life. Life, okay. So this is your question. Read it, please. Okay. Talk about the importance of family in your life. All right, are you ready? Uh, it's a good uh, question. It's a, um, the, the import the family in my life is uh, all, all, all in my life personal. Is I have a I have a family. I I marry. I uh, have a four four uh, son, three girls and one boy. And in the one uh, handsome, no, I am um, yeah, uh, nieto, when, grandson, grandson, okay. Um, for me, it's the very, very important, uh, um, uh, the family for me that uh, I love. Uh, for me, it's a uh, uh, big experience. Experience. Uh, uh, <laughs> All right, Oscar, good job. So, look, you have a lot of ideas. So, Oscar, what I need is a little bit more fluency and try to organize your ideas a little bit better. Okay, but okay, if you Thank see, you. you are talking. You are doing great. Okay, the last one, I have two minutes for the last one. Jamie, hello, Jamie. Hello. Pick a topic. Which one do you prefer? Mm. A sport. I'm sorry? A sport. I'm sorry, I cannot understand. Can you repeat? A sport. A sport. Oh, sports. Okay. Which one? You can pick all of them except soccer. Okay. Um, team. Team. Perfect. This is your question. Can you read it, please? Oh, let me see. Let me see. Do you prefer team sport or individual sport? Uh -huh. mm, uh -huh. Go. Okay. I prefer to practice sport in a team because when you are working with another person, you can get experience about the uh, about how to do the the practice of this sport. Um, another. Uh, in another team uh, that you can know another people um, and what are the skills for another and my own skills and try to to use this skill for to do um, stronger the team and practice uh, so good the sport and try to win uh, 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 a game and, and 
another uh, in another thing. Time's the... up. <laughs> All right. You see, guys, next time I will give you two minutes. Okay, I can see one minute is not enough. Okay, let's just stop there. For the people who participated, I know because of the time, we cannot participate, all of you guys, I'm sorry. I know, yo sé que todos quieren pasar, right? I know, veo a Mirna que está ansiosa, right? But no worries, Mirna, we are going to have more activities like this. No, okay? teacher, I'm, I'm okay. No, no worries, I'm fine, thank you. Oh my God. Next time, maybe. Yeah, maybe tomorrow, no. right? No worries. All right, now listen, the people who participated, is it easy or difficult to talk about one minute? What do you think? Difficult. Difficult. See, what, need, what do you feel I need difficult? A, I need an uh, organizing idea. Ah, very good. And, and, the, and, the, my, uh, and the other is the weekend. Mm -hmm. The other weekend uh, for me is the uh, vocabulary. I, I forget. <laughs> the, <laughs> I forget in the words in the English. I know. But, uh, That's used to happen, guys. And my recommendation is the following. And when I was learning the language, this is something that I did and it helped me a lot. So, yo tomaba una question, por ejemplo, de las que le salieron, right? Uh, do you prefer to listen to music with your, on your headphones or in a concert? Y yo me grababa y empezaba a hablar. Ta, 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 ta. Si a mitad del audio yo me trababa, le ponía pausa y buscaba la palabra en el diccionario. Okay? Digamos que yo no sabía cómo decir, eh, no sé, algún género de música, por ejemplo, o digamos que yo decía saltar. Y no sé cómo decir saltar en el concierto. So, I go to the dictionary, encontraba cómo decir saltar y yo decía, ok, jump. ¿Y qué tenía que hacer? Volver a empezar. Pero ahora ya no me iba a trabar en esa palabra porque ya sabía cómo se decía. Right? Y seguía hablando. Y si otra vez me volví a trabar, otra vez, dictionary, buscaba la palabra que no sabía y ahora a empezar otra vez. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál era mi objetivo? Mi objetivo es que al final de tantos intentos yo iba a lograr llegar al minuto sin trabarme en cuanto a vocabulary. Luego, con el tiempo, el vocabulary ya no fue un problema. Ahora mi problema era la fluency, que tal vez hablaba muy despacio, que tal vez hacía muchas pausas y hacía como que... Eh, Ah, y ya ah. no había que hacer, right? So, ¿qué tenía que hacer? Grabarme otra vez, right? So, yo dejaba de escuchar mis audios hasta que yo supiera o me convenciera de que el audio era lo suficientemente bueno, right? Y como que casi no nos gusta, oops, sorry, casi no nos gusta escucharnos a nosotros mismos, pero créanme que eso funciona. Porque ahí es donde nos damos cuenta cómo estamos hablando. ¿Lo estamos diciendo bien o no? Porque a veces cuando hablamos, man, nosotros creemos que estamos hablando perfectly. And it's like, yes, I am talking a lot. I have a lot of fluency. Pero a veces no nos damos cuenta que estamos teniendo problemas de grammar, problemas de pronunciation. Y a menos que nos grabemos a nosotros mismos, ahí nos damos cuenta. ¿Ok? So, that is something that you can do. I highly recommend it. All right? So, cuando ya dominen un minuto, empiecen a grabarse por two minutes. Va a llegar un punto en el que van a estarse grabando por cinco minutos. ¿Qué tanto podrían hablar for five minutes? Okay? So, do it. It's going to help you a lot. Believe me. Believe me. It's going to help you a lot. Now, Let's see some little details that you have to consider. And this is something that I was listening during this activity. For example, what is the pronunciation of this word? Spend. Spend. Ah, can I say es 
spend. Spend. This is, right? Most of the time we say spend. A school, a study. It's difficult, I know. Pero tendemos que acostumbrarnos, right? There is not a letter E in that sentence. So you have to say spend, spend, okay? Another phrase, um, a crowd plays. Is that correct? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Crowd plays. I'm sorry? It's correct, I think. Is that correct? And you guys? Um, the word uh, A? No, necessarily. ED? Ah, okay, look, this one is a noun. ¿Qué significa crowd? Poblado. Mm. Un... Ok, listen. Crowd es el nombre, es un sustantivo que significa multitud. In this case, estoy describiendo un lugar. Y lo que yo quiero decir es que el lugar estaba lleno, atestado de personas. Right? So, necesito el adjetivo. Y el adjetivo es crowded. Ok? Crowd es el nombre. Crowded is the adjective. Okay? Be careful. Be careful with adjectives and nouns. Sorry, sorry, teacher. But, but we can say a full place. <laughs> mm, I mean, not. you can say that, yes. But full is more when we are talking about objects. Like, for example, my bottle of water is full of water. Okay, uh, the cinema was full of popcorns. Okay, if we are talking about people, so in that case, we need to say crowded. Okay. Porque okay, crowded is specifically for people, a lot of people. Okay, okay? thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Okay, another one in YouTube. On YouTube. Ah, very good. Prepositions, prepositions. Um, family is all in my life. Okay. Mm. Is that okay? Family is our family is, is everything. Ah, okay. Instead of saying old, we can say everything okay si podemos usar all i'm not saying that it's incorrect but it's this one sounds like a very literal translation from spanish into english okay so the best option is saying everything okay now can i say a games Yes or no? No. No, no okay. right? Again, Sing again. Singular and plural. Mm -mm. So you can say a game or just games. All right? Be careful. Okay, that was the speaking activity tomorrow. Maybe we can have another one and maybe other people will participate. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. If you listen to your names, say present. Um, Adrián Escalante. Present. Ok. Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego. Ok. Cristian Alexander. Present. Ok. Eh, let's see, let's see. Erika Yasmín. Present. Ok. Fátima Denise. Present teacher. All right. Eh, Germán Alexander. Present. Okay. Héctor Francisco. Present. Okay. 
Isabel Hernández. Isabel Hernández. All right. Iván Guzmán. Present. Ok. Jamie Raquel. Present, teachers. All right. Holman Girón. Present. Good. Lucy Natalie. Present, teacher. Ok. Magdalena Escalante. Oh, he's listening, all right? Ok. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Ok. Eh, Nelson Antonio. Present. Ok. Oscar Armando. Present. All right. And Rosalina Alvarado. Okay, very good. So let's continue. Yesterday we had a practice talking about outsourcing and that is what we are going to continue talking today. But we are going to practice some vocabulary. We are going to present the ideas of the activity that we had yesterday. And this will be our class objective. I need a volunteer please for reading. Me, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. Class objective, a student will learn related vocabulary to outsourcing, practice reading, speaking skill, and reinforce the new vocabulary with conversion practice. Conversation practice. Conversation practice. That's the one, thank you. All right, let's start remembering what outsourcing is. Do you remember guys? What was the meaning of outsourcing? What is that? Oh my goodness, you don't remember? Yes, I remember. Yeah. With, yeah. with your own words, okay? Let's start with the first one. Outsourcing is? Outsourcing is a company they contract for the other company. Okay, hmm, sounds like a good definition. Now, teams, everybody, uh, I just listened to Ivan. Ivan was, let me check. Ivan was in the team number four, I guess. Uh-huh, what else? Other teams, outsourcing is? Is the, the company, company lends the staff uh, or other? Another, another uh, company. Mm, okay, sounds good. Team number two, Fatima, Herman, Mirna. When you hiring a personal, then when you need a service and when you when you uh, when you need to to contract or hiring a personal for a specific service in your company. Mm, all right, sounds good. Next one, Erika Nelson. Outsourcing is? I remember when Rosalina, we were talking about the outsourcing is like a connection between a company what that, that it needs and what the outsourcing can get or can connection to the employee. Mm. Employees. Employees, okay. How about team number five, Christian, Lucy? Outsourcing is? Uh-huh, anyone? Outsour outsourcing is mean uh, a company hire different people for different position, but you are not working right for that, for that company. You are working for all, another one that can that pay your your salary back to the to the outsourcing business. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Very good. Your concepts are really good, guys. I like that. Now I will be asking each team. Team number one is Adriana, Hector, Holman, and Oscar. Okay, guys. Outsourcing can never uh-huh. Anyone from the team? 
complete the phrase. Outsourcing can never offer health service. Okay, hey, all right. Because it's not for, for make a business. It's only for, it's a service. It's a human right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why not? Very good, very good. All right, what about team number two? In the team number two, I had Fatima, Herman, and Mirna. The biggest problem with outsourcing is? Um, it's a personal rota rotation because the salary of their employees are less. Ah, okay. Sounds good, sounds good. Team number three, Erika, Nelson, and Rosalina, but I think Rosalina is not here. Outsourcing is wonderful. Uh-huh. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Nelson? Sorry to be honest. How about you, Nelson, do you remember? Outsourcing I, is wonderful. I don't be sure it's what I think is uh, is you useful for our company, maybe for to improve some some problem. Okay. They improve some yeah. problems. Can we improve the problems or resolve the problems? Resolve. Resolved. Resolved. Okay, that's much better. All right. Team number five, um, Christian and Lucy. Outsourcing is dangerous if. What do you think? It's dangerous. When, it's dangerous when the outsourcing don't respect your your space or your, mm, how I can say, derechos? Rights. Your rights, uh, like a salary or the benefit of, of um, medicine or hospital is, mm, <laughs> for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, I, I, uh, sorry, I was saying that too. And that is because is outsourcing maybe can be dangerous if they do if they don't pay you the benefits, the low benefits and and all the uh, reglamentations about the salary. Yes, that's a good one. Remember, what is the purpose of outsourcing? Save money, right? So there are some outsourcing companies that they don't even pay the, the day off. For example, Mother's Day, if you work on that day, you had to receive double payment, right? But there are some outsourcings that they don't do it. So yeah, in that aspect, that could be very dangerous. Okay, the last one, team number one, Adriana, Hector, Holman, Oscar. Outsourcing is important. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, yes because the uh, uh, create a new uh, um, employer. Employment. Um, employment, yeah. Uh huh. Um, uh, a new opportunity that uh, a new uh, uh, for midnight uh, mid the uh, uh, mid company. Mm, okay, yeah, they generate new jobs opportunities. Okay, team number two: Fatima, Herman, and Mirna. Outsourcing is important. Um, it's important. Yes. It's depend the context, uh, but they generate employment and move the economy. Mm, okay, sounds good. Next team, Fatima. I'm sorry, sorry, Erika and Nelson. Outsourcing is important. 
Yes, it is because uh, they give you uh, to changing with the time, with the trends and make your business a little bit more flexible. And I don't know how to say it. It's like agile. Fast. Efficient. Agile? Or efficient, thank you. And flexible, yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh huh. Christian and Lucy, outsourcing is important. Yes, it's important because uh, there is a lot of new positions. Mm -hmm. uh, we understand that it's a low payment, but it is it's a job, okay? And for the yeah, for these companies are a business because the payment is low, but it's a good opportunity for people then who wants to improve the knowledge to start working as a in a company, getting experience. And for that reason, you can start working in, in, in outsourcing and it's good for a start and then go looking for another good job. That's great. Sounds yeah. good, actually. Yeah, one one hundred agree with with Christian. Me too. So <laughs> if you see, guys, obviously outsourcing has positive and negative aspects. You already mentioned them. Negatives, because as I said, they are trying to save as much as money as possible. But even though, guys. Thanks to so many outsourcing companies is that we have a lot of jobs here in El Salvador. And not only here, in another parts of the world, you know, Philippines, India, uh, even in some Europe country, outsourcing is taking a lot of popularity in different countries. So they are offering great opportunities. That, yeah, maybe the salary is not the ones that we will like it, but even though, is for our salary base here in the country sometimes is higher. So something positive we have there. Now, talking about outsourcing, one of the most common services that outsourcing offered, what are them? Yesterday we mentioned them. Do you remember? Call center is number one. Call centers, yes. What else? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, 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 IT, IT and technology is is common. See the the that service, that outsourcing service. IT programming, IT. definitely. What else? Security. Sales, sales Sales work. Sales like telemarketing. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Teacher security. Is security. The, yes, they <laughs> offer that. Chocolate. Constructions, yes. <laughs> I mean, don't think that outsourcing is just at the call centers. Not really. We have different ones. What happens is that here in El Salvador, call center is one of the most popular. That is the one of the most common one. But those are not the only ones. Sure. Now we're, yes. Uh, in our company, there is a program that like a uh, outsourcing uh -huh. for United States branch. Um, they they are hiring like pricing people, like quotations to make quotations, um, something like that. But in in the area of logistic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, for example, customer service, people attending the customers, making uh, buildings. So a lot, of, a lot of areas they are covering. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's great. There, there are more than, than just the uh, call center. Yeah, imagine. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. call center is one of the most popular, but that's not the only one, okay? So interesting, very good job. Now we are going to talk. <laughs> Remember guys, I really want you to talk a lot during this level. When we finish talking, we are going to check some vocabulary, 
Okay. And then we are going to practice role plays again. I have some questions that I wanted to discuss. Remember, call center is one of the most common ones when we are talking about customer service, telemarketing, and all those kind of things. So we are going to answer these questions. When was the last time you had to contact customer service by phone? So in this case, you are the customer, not the agent. So when was the last time that you called to customer service? Do you remember? Today. Oh, <laughs> okay. What happens? In my case, I work in a credit account. So I was, mm -hmm. I was calling to the bureaus asking some general questions about how to clean that negative accounts or how to keep some positive accounts. Could be credit, um, church account, mortgage include, um, automobile loads too. All right, and were you a nice customer or an angry customer? No, I'm a nice, I, I was <laughs> just asking a general question to to do uh, my job better, actually. Nice, that's the idea. Very good job. So we are going to answer these questions, think about it, and the idea, guys, is try to give as many details as possible. You are intermediate four, okay? So I expect interesting answer. If you say, like, I don't remember, no, I need details. If you, I mean, for real, if you don't remember, invent a story, okay? So, or if you say, ah, yeah, yesterday, and what happens? Ah, nothing. So, no, I want details, okay? I'm expecting answers worthy or intermediate for, all right? Now, I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp's group. We don't have a lot of time to discuss these questions, so, I hope you could answer all of them. I want to everybody enter to the breaking rooms. Sometimes I have people that they don't enter. If you don't enter, I will consider that you don't want to participate. So be careful with that. Let's go to the breaking rooms and do your best. Hello, Hello. How are you? I'm tired. Are you sleepy? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Hello, Herman. Hi, Herman. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I'm working. <laughs> ah, you're working now? Yes. Oh. I'm working uh, still. Oh, but oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I have a, a little bit problem. Oh, teacher, no, and uh, my few minutes, few seconds, I'm alone in the in the chat and the salt and the and the, the room. chat room. Uh huh. Uh huh. But Oscar, Oscar, Oscar is coming. here. <laughs> That's great. Here, I hear. <laughs> Excellent. And I'm going to send someone else, no worries, because I got Nelson. Nelson is going to join to your team. Okie dokie. Thank you. All right. Uh, Oscar, you can share or um, the question. Let me see. Uh, you share. Okay. Please. Wait, wait a little moment. Um, just now, can you see? Hey, Nelson. Hello, my friend. Yes, I can see. Okay, okay. I know, uh, I know. Ah, sorry? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see okay. that. Okay. The first question: When was the last time you had the, to contact customer service by phone? In my case, I talk every month maybe for the problem with my internet 
Uh, but I don't know if the problem is for the weather. Weather? Oh, I don't know if my, my line is very, very bad with Claro. <laughs> I, 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 I remember uh, the last try the calling the customer service. Is the I sales uh, I sell the lotion for catalogo? Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh -huh. uh, I I received the product the the uh, the bat. I I report for customer service and for the devolution the devolution the, uh, the product. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And they I they change, change the, the, the proof. Um eh, no for the I I <laughs> yo, I I angry <laughs> really? for the hey, hey, the the customer service I uh you you need a uh, contact the uh, 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 comp direct company um i you uh, i just say you uh, customer service uh, but i they say you need a uh, direct company you call me by angry for the uh, uh the um, what they say the um, uh, difficult talk the customer service the uh for time for the game. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you Nelson? Okay, in my case, uh, the last time was the the last Friday. The last Friday I I was a lot of problem with my computer. Mm. And so I, I had to to call for for the service, but this is in this uh, at the same company. Mm -hmm. I had to I had to to call for the service, and also the the uh, on Saturday too. Big yes, and, yeah, and yesterday too, my friend. Ah. Yes, finally, right now in the morning, I. I resolved the problem with my computer. Oh. Yes. Okay. I don't know. Can you read the the, the second question? Yes, of course. I have you ever become become angry or annoyed at a customer service or sales professional over the phone? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, the last the last year, um, the bank offered me offered me uh, offered me uh, yes. target credit credit card target <laughs> credit card, and yes. oh, okay, uh, I accept, but it's the worst decision on my life, and uh, maybe two months before before uh, later yes. two months yes. uh, later. I'm very, very angry because the 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 credit card and uh, interest and uh, dev dev yes increase uh -huh, increase for this for this car very very hard and I don't know if if um no I never know me I don't know if never know me teacher. Mm, never inform me, maybe. No, no, I, I, I mean, uh, no, my reaction never, never. Oh, never, never knew. Reaction. Never knew. So, what are you trying I'm to really. say? Uh, I, I, I try to say, no me conocía. Ah, oh. okay. Uh, A usted mismo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, didn't. If it is in past, in negative, uh -huh. didn't know me. Didn't know me? Didn't, this reaction. 
No. Didn't, didn't. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. No me. This reaction because very angry. Uh, oh my gosh. Jill. Jill. <laughs> Gritar. Jill. Jill. Uh -huh. Jill. <laughs> the customer's <gasps> service because it's very angry. Never. Hector, Never. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ¿Cómo sería una estafa? Um, Robert, for me, that is a, he, uh, it's a big, big, I don't know how to say estafa in English. Okay, if you want to say estafa, you can say fraud. Fraud. Or, or, or storm. Scam. No. Which one? Storm. Storm. Mm, storm. How Fall. do you spell that? No, all. Stall. S T O L E. Stole. Ah, como un robo. Stole. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both. Mm -hmm. But if you want to be specific with the word estafa, you can say fraud or scam. Scam. Okay. Mm -hmm. Scam. I'm sending scam. in the chat. I'm sending in the chat. You can say fraud or scam. Both means the same. Scam. Um, mm -hmm. Scam. Yeah. Um, but but regularly I never I, I don't uh, angry angry customer don't no me interpreting mal. <laughs> only one, oh. only one. Don't okay. How can I say that? No me malinterpreten. Don't misunderstand. No. no. Don't no. negative. Don't. Uh huh. Misunderstand. Ah, don't miss eh. Let, uh, I want to write this. Mm -hmm. Misunderstand. <laughs> I'm, I'm sending it in, okay. in the chat right now. Please, please. Yeah. So misunderstand is oh, like no. malinterpretar. So don't oh. misunderstand me. No me malinterpreten, right? Don't misunderstand uh, me. Mm -hmm. Understand me. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay. <laughs> me you wanna see my face with that expression where i like mm, no girl mm -mm. you need to you need to handle a very difficult person in that <laughs> environment yes, <laughs> yes. yes. then when i move to the band and it's like a little bit more easy because people need money so they are like hello nice to meet you how are you long time to see you like uh uh how to say it giving you the whole of honey that they have because they oh my god <laughs> they're so sweet <laughs> yes and you like, what's going you on here <laughs> <laughs> where about you have you ever uh work in that work in customer service yes have you ever Lucy, Adriana. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, I I was thinking you asking Adriana, Adriana. In my case, I don't work in a customer service right now, but um, I work with a lot of people, and I think maybe maybe could be usual or, or very similar to um handle a a, a human human uh, relations in the work oh. but where, where do you work Lucy? I'm a industrial engineer I'm, I'm in a health and safety inspector my god you know Nelson and Miriam are industrial engineer engineers too yeah, and Miriam. My I goodness, I'm the only one who has a degree who has a Mi Miriam, I think <laughs> Miriam, I, I, I oh. think is, is, is civil and um with Hector and we um I don't remember the, the correct word, but we share we share the the same work area like uh environments and okay. safety uh, points for, oh. for the work with Hector, yes. And Miriam, I think, is civil, civil engineer. Yeah. Yes, it's kind of. Mm. And Adriana, have you yeah. ever worked in no, customer service? 
No. No what? <laughs> no what? What? Come? No what? <laughs> Are you a, st a student or work uh, for? No one. Another. Where do you work, Adriana? Um, in a... Or what do you do for life? Um, and Ariana, we cannot hear you. And now? Scream. Loud. Yeah. Loud. I'm sorry. A little bit more loud, please. <laughs> sorry. Okay. I am an administrative assistant and also an accounting assistant. Oh, so okay. I'm a business administrator. And uh, the, I see. I think that this field is hard if you don't have a patient to work in, in, in with people and you to have a car I don't know yes car because uh, they have many situations and you have to to try to respond of that to that and provide a solution, not just listen. To it. I think that is difficult. Okay. Yes, it's difficult. <laughs> yes, interesting. Uh, it's still worse, yeah. my friends. I think uh, the 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 uh, fieldings, the fielding, and the and the bands uh the customer service excuse me the fielding in the in the in the customer servers um i think uh, the persons uh, must have uh, the power convictions for themselves uh in my case uh, i don't <laughs> i don't power conviction <laughs> <laughs> my my job is is uh, uh the numbers working the numbers uh no no i don't what uh, there is a... i don't i don't skills for the you don't have the skills uh -huh. <laughs> it's not your feel i don't feel right mm -hmm. and you Jimmy, what, are, what do you say yes i i have worked in customer service but it was so difficult and stressful because when you are um, when you are trying to help to the customers uh, you 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 don't know what kind of people you are you are um, you are you are talking or when you are because uh, they, uh, there are many kind of people because uh, there is a, a kind of person that are so that are so stressful um, um, and uh, there are another that are so so kindness. I believe that is that word. I I don't know. Um. Uh, if I if I go if if I have to or I should to prefer um uh, any field. <laughs> I don't I don't prefer this this area because I don't like to to talk with unknown no unknown people and you have to help help the customer to buy your article or your goods or your service. So I don't like this 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 feeling. It's difficult when okay if you are just a customer service attending the people it's fine but 
if you also have to sell, it's difficult. It's more difficult than the other, the the, the first one auction, because okay. you are you have to sell to to stay in the in the job. And there is a stressful that to sell. In the last one, we have. I'm going to read it and to okay. answer it first. What mm. kind of problems do you think a call center work workers may face during a typical working day? What do you think about this? About that? Mm, I believe the the people who are in call center the people who are in call center is must be strong because whatever the person can talk to you, whatever, uh, what kind of word used to talk with you, you have to, um, you have to be professional and you have to be um, kindness. <laughs> and so there is so that I think no, it's an example, but the call center is the the is it the the reason or that they they do in a call center try to solve the problem and many problems and uh, that all kind of problem that do you have in your phone and your uh, computer or or in your maybe if you have a service. They try to solve that your problem by phone. Mm. All right, time's up. We are going to go back to the main room. Time's up, time's up. Let's wait for your classmates. They are still in the breaking rooms. Let's wait for them. Let's go back, let's go back. All right, time's up everyone. Let's go back to the main room, okay. Could you answer all of the questions? Yes, of course. <laughs> all right, cool. And the rest of the teams, could you answer all of the questions? Yes. All right, all right. Now, everybody's here already. Okay, guys, easy or difficult to answer those questions? Difficult. Piece of cake. <laughs> so for the ones who has the experience, those are like very simple. For the ones that maybe they don't have the same experience could be difficult topics, right? Now I will be interviewing by one by one. Let me start. I'm going to start with people with the camera off. So Christian is going to be the first one. Okay. Hello, Christian. Hello, I'm going to to start on my camera. <laughs> All right, thanks. Okay. Who is the next one? <laughs> <laughs> you are. Okay, uh, Christian. Um, okay. Have you ever become angry or annoyed at a customer service over the phone? Mm, or sales no. professional? Uh, over the phone, never. In actually, in person or or chat also never I, I try to keep the calm and just relax but maybe the that the pers the salesperson or the customer service that who are attending me maybe they they don't have the, the guilt of the problem and you have to understand it also you want a, 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 a answer and a solution but sometimes you have to be patient also and ah. i i always try to, I, I am patient okay. so yeah. you are you are like a nice customer 
Uh-huh. I don't ah. like to be angry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good. Sounds mm -hmm. good. Let's see. Next one. Let me ask to Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Hello, teacher. Okay, Fatima, have you ever worked in a customer service before? Um, no, I don't work in a customer in a customer service before. So do you think it will be a difficult job or would you like to work in a customer service? I I think it's a uh, difficult, difficult and and a stress <laughs> job. <laughs> Stressy because, job. Uh -huh. Yes, because uh, I I have a uh, partners with a a day work uh, like a customer service and just listen when they is hung the they is hungry with the people but in a stressful and and this and this <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely so it's a difficult job but when you work in a customer service guys you learn to be a nice customer if you work in a customer service believe me you will never be a bad customer you will be always friendly always polite always with a lot of patience believe me so if you are an angry customer i recommend you to work in a customer service for at least one month okay <laughs> and you will learn just a week just a week <laughs> no, no no thanks no thanks no thanks aha uh -huh. okay ivan will be the first one in working in customer service ivan have you ever been angry uh, when you call to to your customer service office or no 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 uh, say the truth ivan and the and the I angry. <laughs> <laughs> you are angry, angry all the time. <laughs> no, no, it's it's difficult. Uh, it's the teacher, uh, mm -hmm. the customer service, for example, of the bank, uh, call me. Uh, they offer <laughs> credit cards. Um, mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's necessary credit card. <laughs> and they call you all the uh, very often. Very often is. Uh, Como es bien recurrente, seguido, o do you say? Frequently. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Frequently, uh, call me. <laughs> so you get angry because of that? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, there is a respect uh, your job. Uh -huh, okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, please be nice customers and i'm not just talking about customer service but about everything when you go to the supermarket be patient be nice if you go to a restaurant be kind okay everybody is dealing with difficult situations everybody is having bad days sometimes so be nice okay now Let's see some vocabulary, okay? This is related to outsourcing, customer service yeah. job, mm -hmm. and life in general, okay? I have five words here and I have five definitions. So let's start with start up. Have you ever heard this word, start up? Yes, yes. What is that? A company that is just beginning to operate, actually. Ah. <laughs> All right. Have you ever, guys, worked on a startup company? Have you ever worked for a company that just started? Yes or no? No. No, never? No. All right. Never. Okay. Now, how about 
outsource. We already studied the definition for outsource. What do you think? What is that? It's the letter C, arrange uh, for somebody outside the company to do work or provide goods for that company. Okay, do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Now, the other one is an adjective, it's simple, frustrated. What is that? What? Which one? Letter D. Letter D. Can you read it, please? Feeling frustrated, feeling annoyed and impatient because you can't do or achieve what you want. Very good. So frustrated, you feel like annoyed, impatient, <laughs> kind of angry sometimes. Very good. Now the next one, flawed. What is that? It ain't not perfect or correct. Not perfect or correct. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yes. That is the one. And the last one, lash out. What is that? Can you read it, please? Attack, attack or criti criticize somebody in an angry way. Ha! Everyone, have you ever latched out to anyone? No, teacher. Never? No, it's, it's a verb. Latch, it's, latch, it's, a, it's a phrase. Uh, it's a phrase. Yes. yes. Have you ever been victim or a latched out? Yes. For my mother? <laughs> From your mother. <laughs> when, she, when she's very angry, she attacks you with the flip-flops, okay? And you guys, have you ever been victim of it? No, teacher. No? Not the victim. No. Ah, <laughs> so you did it. Oh my goodness, Erika, be careful. Remember, you had to be a good person. Okay. Sure. Sure. Yes. I have a question. That lash out is just a attack or criticism, but in in it's not physical. It's just verbal. Uh, most of the time, yeah. <laughs> Remember that. What will be the translation of lash out? What do you think? The translation of remete. Mm -hmm. Es como una represión. Right, so there are different uh, degrees of it, right? It can be just by looking at you, the way that somebody look at you, okay? Words or even some physical actions, right? So there are different degrees, mm, okay? okay? Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, did you take note about this vocabulary? Yes. Just a question. In the letter D, it is you cannot do or achieve or achieve. How do you how do you say it? In which one? Letter D. Almost in the end. You cannot do or achieve. Achieve. What does achieve. it mean? Oh, achieve is like get. Like you cannot get or you cannot obtain what you want. That is the meaning of achieve, get okay. or obtain. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, you got the vocabulary? Yes. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's see. Let's start again. Abuse. Hmm. What is that? Letter, maybe letter C. Letter C. Can you read it, please? The practice or treating somebody or a particular group in society less fairly than others. Hmm. 
Do you agree, guys? No, I no. think letter D. Letter, letter D. D. Yes, letter, letter D. D. Can you read letter. it, please? It says May. make other offensive remarks to our about somebody. All right, so that sounds better. I mean, they are very similar. In the end, they are just talking about kind of the same. So abuse, make rude or offensive remarks. Guys, have you ever abused to anyone? No? Mm, All right, maybe. you are good people. No. Maybe, oh my gosh, what I happened? <laughs> You are, oh my goodness. <laughs> y yo hasta los veía así como angelitos a todos, right? What we happened? Are, we are, we are. Change. <laughs> ah, ya cambiaron. You, you already now. changed, right? <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. Esto, esto fue cuando eran jóvenes, when you were younger. Mm -hmm. Ajá, yes. yes, we smell like a meal. Sure, yeah. uh, <laughs> no, I don't know, but I'm starting looking a dark past <laughs> oh my gosh okay next one steam from this is a phrasal verb too what do you think what is the meaning of steam from be the result of something be, be, uh -huh. be the result of something maybe what do you think guys do you agree yes Actually, that's the one. So steam from is a result of something. Like, for example, eh, the result of an action. ¿Por qué le tienen miedo a las culebras, for example? Um, maybe when you were a child, you saw a snake and you got panic. So in my example, for example, if I say I feel panic, to earthquake because during some earthquake something happened to me and that makes me feel scared every time so that's my steam from i'm steam from the earthquake i feel totally panic okay so that's the result now next one discrimination hmm, what is that Letter B. Letter B. Ah, very good. Volunteer for reading, please. Can I? Yes, please. Um, unreasonable dislike of, of or preference for a person, group, custom, etc., especially when it is based on their race, religion, gender, etc. Hmm. Think about it. What do you think, guys? Do you think that that's discrimination? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, I <laughs> yes. Okay, but how about prejudice? What is the difference? Prejudice, I think that teacher is just when when a, a specific group is not all all people or, or around the world is just a specific group or, or ethnic group, for example, that pre, that have a pre, prejudice. I think that or is correct. something. Okay, sorry. I think that the correct pronunciation is prejudice. Prejudice. I think. Okay. Let me check because I'm, I don't remember pretty well. Okay, but everybody, do you agree? Let me check the pronunciation. Give me a second. Oh no, it's prejudice. Yeah, I was prejudice. correct. <laughs> okay, so discrimination on, okay, unreasonable dislike. So prejudice is like the practice of treating somebody or a particular, that is the key. Look at this one. Is the practice, first of all, practice, and then treating somebody. And in the other one is just, a reasonable dislike. So in the prejudice, it's just you don't like it, the preference of the other person. But in the discrimination, it's saying the practice. What do you think? En la discriminación, solamente tenemos el concepto en nuestra mente 
o lo llevamos a la práctica? What do you think? It's the practice. It's the practice. Yes. yes. Or think about this. Cuando tenemos un prejuicio, ¿es solo en nuestra mente o lo llevamos a la práctica? In my no, mind. es solo en nuestra mente el prejuicio. Ah, so yeah. think about it in that way. ¿Qué sería la discrimination? It's the practice. Practice. Mm -hmm. Is the practice of treating somebody or a particular group in the society that they are not like the same of you, that they are not worthy, that they don't have the same uh, rights. And the prejudice, remember in this case, is just in your mind, you just don't like it. You don't like, for example, simple example. If you don't like reggaeton, what happens in your mind when you see young people dancing and listening to reggaeton? They say, I know it's a juventud, right? And you say, mm -mm, I don't like it. So that is a prejudice. Obviamente no van y les pegan o les dicen algo. Not really, it's just in your mind, okay? Pero si ya ustedes vienen y empiezan a atacarlos, okay, empiezan a pelear con ellos, in that case, it's already a discrimination that's the difference okay is it clear the difference between discrimination and prejudice a little yes. bit just, just remember, remember the pre the pride and prejudice the <laughs> the, the movie <laughs> ah, right. yeah i remember now the movie that prejudice say ah. that yeah <laughs> so remember discrimination is like action Okay. Ustedes actúan en contra de otra persona simplemente porque no están de acuerdo. Right? Simplemente porque creen que esas personas valen menos que ustedes. And prejudice, solo es el concept. No les gusta algo, pero solo está ahí en su mente y en su mente pueden criticar a la persona, pero no van y hacen algo en contra de ellas. Right? So that is the difference. Have you ever suffered discrimination everyone yes or not yes yes by phone <laughs> yes of course what happens i work in a call center so they they always say i don't want to talk to you you have a very uh, hard accent i need to talk with a native american person because i don't understand you and it's like okay <laughs> yeah i know i know what it feels i know that so you can tell them okay if you want to talk to american people let me tell you something they don't want this job <laughs> so that's what you can say no i'm kidding don't say it quality will listen to you ivan how about you what happens when did you suffer discrimination yeah, in my in my job, I remember my boss. Mm -hmm. My boss, um, uh, what do you say? Uh, no, no, no. My boss, uh, hizo. What do you say? Did. Did it? Didn't. Didn't is in negative. Uh, did. Is, did. Hizo. Did. Did. Uh, my boss did. Uh, the change the 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 religions. Okay. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Really, it's true. To, uh, uh, call, call uh, my boss. Uh, calling in my in your in your offices. Uh, uh, sit, sit down in your in your offices. Uh, I, I, I can say, uh, he says, you, you show me change the religions because the authors, the, the many uh, partners in the company, we are, we are the religions Catholics. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no. That's crazy. Diffi difficult, <laughs> difficult. Crazy, and, crazy, crazy. And what do you say? No, obviously, no, 
<laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I've my, never heard my, something uh, like that. Yeah, my uh, conviction is uh, um, um, Christians, Christian uh, evangelists. The gospel, the Christian gospel. The Christian gospel. Mm -hmm. Is no, no. Uh, you cannot no, change but, it. No changing, uh, boss. Wow. Yes. No, it's amazing. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. It's crazy. So to totally, totally crazy. <laughs> Definitely. All right. So that's discrimination. Very good. Okay, number five, counterproductive. What is that? Counterproductive. The last yeah. one, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Can you read it, please? Yes. Having the opposite opposite effect to the one that was intended. Yes. This is when you do an action expecting a result, but in the end you have the opposite result. Okay? Have you ever uh, suffer a counterproductive result? Yes. Have you ever had a counterproductive result? Yes, no? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what happens, Erika? With the, with the same account, we're taking a no market with the person, uh, with the people in the United States who has ID number. Mm -hmm. And we were given a new, a, a different opportunity for them. And at the beginning it was really crazy because we don't know what to do with them. And <laughs> Oh my goodness. It was, like, it was crazy. We, we don't have any idea about what to do. And then <laughs> but a month later, we already know and we are working better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's crazy and funny at the same time. Okay, nice. Did you take note about the vocabulary, everyone? Oh, teacher. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take the screenshots. Or... Yes, please. Take it <laughs> because share... we are going to use it. Uh huh. Can you share it, teacher, in the WhatsApp group? Sure. But give me a second. Thank I need to, I, I need to, oh, but what happens is que si comparto, se me borran, guys. I mean, se me borran las líneas. But uh, I have the screenshot since the class begins. Look, I have the screenshots. Oh, thank you. Yeah. What happens yeah, is. Yeah, I, I can send it. Yes, send I can share it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, when, when I take the screenshot, I don't know why, pero a mí se me borran las líneas. I'm sorry. But thank you. She's going to send it in the group. Thank you a lot. Okay, now that we have the vocabulary and we understood the definitions, let's complete the sentences. Because of the time, I think we are not going to do the second part, only the first one. So, read the sentences and choose the correct word. Some of the words are not going to be used because we only have five sentences. Okay, and we have 10 words. So because of the time, we are going to do only the first five. So I'm going to give you two minutes to read the sentences and analyze them. And then we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. Okay? Go ahead, everyone. Read carefully. You have two minutes. If you have a question or if there is a word that you don't understand very well, let me know. I will be asking one by one, guys. So everybody try to complete the activity. Only five sentences, please. Go ahead.
If you have a question, just let me know, please. If there is a word that you don't know what the meaning is, tell me, I can explain. Teacher, in yes. the third one, what is court over? Court. Mm -hmm. Oh, court is when you have a legal problem. So you go in front of the judge with a lawyer. So the place ah, yes. is a court. Yes, I understand. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Aha, uh -huh, everybody, you finished or not yet? Mm -hmm. Not yet? Okay. Almost. All right. I will give you more time. Please complete the activity, everyone. I need to everybody do it. Okay, ready everybody? Yes? Okay, let's see. In the number one says, my friend, da, 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 da. well, my friend's face da, 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 at the school after people found out that he was gay. What do you think? What will be the best word here? Discrimination. Discrimination. Everybody, do you agree? I agree. Yes, yes. I agree. agree. All yes. right. Discrimination. So remember, discrimination again is not just the thought, it's about the actions. You see? Now, number two, volunteer for reading. After spending two hours in line, people start getting frustrated. Frustrated. Everybody, what do you think? Agree. Frustrated. Frustrated, yes? Yes. Correct. Yes, it Very good. Okay, number three, volunteer for reading. Mm, many celebrations. How discover that going to court over a minor issue can be. Thank you. 
So what happens to those celebrities that go to the court for minor issues? That can be counterproductive. Counterproductive. Ah, very good. That can be counterproductive. Sometimes they finish in paying even more money. Very good. Number four, volunteer for reading. Me? Yes. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Who say me? Okay. And I... <laughs> yes, go ahead, please. Her feet of water. Mm, Still from a childhood experience. Okay. Stems from everybody, do you agree? Yes. <laughs> yes. Remember, yes. what is the meaning of stems from? Is like to say the result. Okay. Good job. Number five, volunteer. Can I teach? <laughs> yes, please go ahead. I worked at a startup last summer. It was fun, but the money wasn't very good. Ah, good job. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. Good, excellent. Yes. So, excellent job. If you see, we used discrimination, frustrated, counterproductive, teams from, and startup. We still have some minutes. I think that we can complete the other sentences. So, in this case, you cannot use the words that you already used. For example, startup, you cannot use it anymore. It's teams from discrimination, counterproductive, frustrated, okay? You cannot use those ones anymore. Complete the sentences, but using the other ones, okay? What do you think? What would be the answer? I'm going to give you three minutes because these sentences are a little bit longer. And then we are going to check the answers. If you don't understand a word, tell me and I will help you with that. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Uh-huh, you ready everyone? Not yet. Not yet? Okay, no. I will give you two, uh, one more minute because we don't have more time. Okay, go ahead. We are going to check the answers. Remember, the words with the check, you cannot use them, okay? You have to use the other ones. The ones that you use in the previous exercise, you cannot use them. Use the other ones. 
I we are growing the first one, I think. Because <laughs> I didn't match, I didn't match the, the 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 words with the phrases. Just the sixth and the eighth one for me. I'm ah. not I'm wrong. <laughs> but the seven, nine, and ten, I didn't found it. So mm. so the mm. first part was easier, right? Yes. But <laughs> <laughs> All right. No worries. I will help you. I will help you. So we are going to resolve it together because we don't have more time. So in the number six, your entire customer service department may save your company money in the short term. But over the time, the decision could damage your business. What is that? Outsourcing. Outsourcing. Uh -huh. Okay, good job. That's correct. Now, in the number six, uh, seven, sorry, volunteer for reading. What number? Number seven. Anyone found to be transport workers with be punished? Punished. 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 Do you know what the meaning is? Punished? Punished. No. Cuando Still? se portan, ajá, cuando se portan mal, ¿qué les pasaba? La llena justicia. La llena. <laughs> so, that's a punished. Ok. ¿Quiénes reciben los punished? ¿Qué, ¿Qué tipo de personas reciben los punished? According to the vocabulary. Any idea? Lashing out. Lashing out. Okay, let's Abusing jump in. Ah, that is the one. Abusing. So, what happens here? Se dieron cuenta, right? That. The abusing transport workers, es decir, que los trabajadores que eran abusivos, ¿qué va a pasar con ellos? They will be punished. punished. Pero castigados. Exactly. So that is the meaning of that sentence. Number eight, what happens here? For me, it's lashing, lashing out. out. Lashing out. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Yes. And yes, that's the one. So what happens? Lashing out at everyone around you. So that's the way that you can lose friends. Okay? Yeah, that's the meaning. Number nine, the company was accused of... <sighs> Imagine. Prejudice. 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 Yes. Yes. Remember, everyone, ya no podemos usar discrimination porque ya lo usamos en las oraciones anteriores. Yeah. And the last one, we don't have more time. The experiment was? Loud. 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 So it wasn't perfect, right? It has a lot of errors. So that's why it was impossible to succeed okay those were uh, the words i hope you remember the words guys try to review in them and try to use them when you are talking okay unfortunately we don't have more time we are going to continue tomorrow everybody do you have any questions before leaving no uh... no no questions yes, teacher. could you could I, I have to uh, a screenshot that the result that the Azure can I? Uh, I have the screenshots. Yeah, thank you. Because when I. Oh, okay. Yeah, the thank answers you. got erased. Yeah, but thank, got you. It. thank you, Erica. Okay, everyone. Now I have a winner, <laughs> and the winner is Fatima. Okay, Fatima, I know that you couldn't stay yesterday, so today is your day. Okay? Okay. Very good. So everybody, thank, thank you. you so much for being in the class. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Only Fatima stays, please. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.
See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. All right. Hello, Fatima. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. How was your connection today? Today is uh, really cool. <laughs> I think. <laughs> but was it raining but, yesterday in your city? No, but uh, the internet, my cell phone, and the Wi Fi. Uh, ning no sé, ninguno servía. None of them, really? Sí. <laughs> yes. I mean, that's weird because maybe with the rainy, that can affect, but you said that it wasn't raining. No. Okay, so yeah, that's weird. <laughs> okay, but I'm glad that today the connection was better. I don't want to take you a long time. I know that you might be tired. So you know that this meeting is just to clarify some questions or comments that you may have. So any questions so far about the class or about the platform? No, teacher. Or can I, can I ask you? If you don't have questions, I will ask. Okay. Yes? Yes. All right, perfect. Let's review the vocabulary. Let's see, what did you understand? What is the difference between discrimination and prejudice? Uh, the discrimination is a practice. Mm -hmm. And the pre prejudice is um, a dislike. Mm-hmm, that's it, very good. Okay, let's see, Um, what else can I ask? Do you think that um, in call centers, they suffer discrimination? It, um, a little, I think, yes. What kind of discriminations do you think that they suffered? Um, for the call center? Uh huh. Uh, uh, the, the business con contract or um, just contract the different people, different. Um, Grace mm -hmm. and like like um I I don't know. So for example, when if you work in a call center, you know that you we have an accent. So maybe we can suffer discrimination for our accent, right? Yes. yes. So if you imagine that in your job they ask you to change your accent what would you do would you change your job or would you try to change your accent what would you do i i offer a option that connect to other other partner with different accent. Mm, okay. Only that? Yes, only that. Okay, very good. Let's just stop there. Now, Fatima, eh, I just got a feedback from you. I have been checking your progress on the platform and I can see that you haven't started. What happened? No, teacher. <laughs> Yesterday, I... am. I remember the uh -huh. platform. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so you, you just remember yesterday, hey, I had the platform. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, try, please, try to work, try to advance as much as possible. Uh, look at some of your classmates, they are already working on the week number two. So I don't want you to have a bad feedback from Insafor program just because you haven't started. So please try to start working on the platform, okay? Yes, teacher. 
Excellent. Okay, uh, any other comment or question that you may have? No. Okay, perfect. So Fatima, we are going to stop right here. Thank you so much for staying. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.